to middle ground media where news is delivered without an agenda. In today's coverage, segment 1, Princess Kate's Courageous Battle. In an emotionally charged announcement, Princess Kate of Wales revealed her ongoing battle with cancer following a period of hospitalization and major abdominal surgery. Initially believed to be non-cancerous, further tests unveiled the presence of cancer, propelling Kate into a preventative chemotherapy treatment. Amidst this challenging time, Kate's resilience shines through as she seeks privacy and understanding from the public. The revelation has sparked a wave of support from global leaders and the public alike, highlighting her beloved status and the universal impact of her diagnosis. As she embarks on her treatment journey, Kate's spirit remains unbroken, emphasizing her determination to overcome this health challenge while seeking comfort in her family's support. Segment 2, Uniting in Support of Israel Speaker Mike Johnson has announced plans to invite Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to Congress, signifying a strong gesture of solidarity amidst Israel's ongoing conflict with Hamas. This move, while potentially contentious due to differing views within the U.S. political spectrum, underscores the U.S.'s unwavering support for Israel as its steadfast ally in the Middle East. Johnson's initiative aims to provide Netanyahu a platform to address the Congress, fostering a deeper understanding and reinforcing the alliance between the two nations. This development occurs as Israel continues to navigate its complex geopolitical challenges, with the U.S. demonstrating its commitment to standing with Israel through its trials. Segment 3, Rescuing Haiti's Most Vulnerable In a heartwarming display of international cooperation and compassion, 59 Haitian children with disabilities, along with their caregivers, were evacuated to Jamaica, escaping the dire conditions exacerbated by Haiti's gang violence. The children, now under the care of mustard seed communities in Jamaica, were given immediate medical attention upon arrival. This operation highlights the severity of the situation in Haiti, where violence has left many without access to essential services and safety. The evacuation not only provides these children a safe haven but also casts a spotlight on the ongoing humanitarian crisis in Haiti, urging the global community to respond with aid and solutions. Segment for Tragedy and Accountability in Mexico An investigative report challenges the official narrative surrounding a devastating fire at an immigration center in Sayud Juarez, Mexico, which claimed the lives of 40 migrants. The report unveils a series of security failures, including the mismanagement of key access, contributing to what has been described as a death trap. This revelation demands a re-evaluation of the protocols and practices in immigration detention facilities, emphasizing the urgent need for reform and accountability. The tragedy has sparked widespread outrage and calls for justice, underscoring the human cost of policy and administrative neglect in handling vulnerable populations. Segment 5 – Russia's War in Ukraine Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov's recent remarks have sparked intense debate and speculation about Russia's stance on its military actions in Ukraine. By referring to the situation as a state of war, Peskov has potentially signaled a shift in the Russian government's narrative, moving away from the previously termed special military operation. This change comes amid ongoing tensions and the international community's scrutiny of Russia's motivations and objectives in Ukraine. The implications of Peskov's comments are profound, suggesting a possible escalation in Russia's military engagement and a call for national solidarity in the face of conflict. Segment 6, Russia's stance on the LGBT movement. In a controversial move, Russia has officially designated the LGBT movement as an extremist and terrorist organization. This decision aligns with a series of laws and policies aimed at suppressing LGBTQ plus rights in the country, reinforcing President Vladimir Putin's commitment to traditional family values. The designation not only restricts the freedoms and rights of LGBTQ plus individuals but also isolates and criminalizes their advocacy and existence. International human rights organizations have condemned this action, highlighting its potential to incite further discrimination and violence against the LGBTQ community in Russia. Segment 7 – Concealing a Dark Past Eric Nshimai, a Rwandan-born Ohio resident, faces charges for concealing his involvement in the 1994 Rwandan genocide to gain entry and citizenship in the United States. This case sheds light on the long shadows cast by historical atrocities and the challenges of ensuring justice and accountability. 
and Shimai's arrest underscores the importance of vigilance and integrity in the refugee and asylum processes, ensuring that those seeking refuge are genuine victims of persecution, not perpetrators of violence. It also highlights the complexities of international justice and the pursuit of truth in the aftermath of crimes against humanity. Segment 8. Political Turmoil in India the arrest of Avind Kedriwal, a top leader of India's opposition AAM Admi Party, AAP, on graft charges has ignited widespread protests and political controversy. Kedriwal's arrest comes at a critical juncture, just weeks before general elections, raising questions about its timing and the potential impact on the electoral landscape. The detention of AAP members and the public outcry reflect the deep divisions and tensions within Indian politics. As supporters decry what they perceive as a politically motivated move to sideline a key opposition figure, the situation underscores the fraught nature of India's democratic processes. The events surrounding Kedriwal's arrest highlight the challenges facing political dissent and the importance of maintaining the integrity of electoral competition in the world's largest democracy. Segment 9. Blasphemy Conviction in Pakistan in a case that underscores the contentious nature of Pakistan's blasphemy laws, a court sentenced Asia Bibi, a Muslim woman, to life in prison for allegedly desecrating pages of the Quran. This conviction brings to light the harsh realities of blasphemy legislation in Pakistan where accusations alone can lead to deadly riots and severe legal repercussions. Bibi's case, not to be confused with another famous case involving a Christian woman of the same name, highlights the critical need for legal reforms to protect religious freedom and prevent the misuse of blasphemy laws. As international human rights groups continue to call for change, Bibi's conviction serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing debate over faith, law, and human rights in Pakistan. Thank you for tuning into Middle Ground Media. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unbiased news. Join us again tomorrow for your daily dose of truth and clarity.